Hey YouTube, welcome back to another exciting episode of Frankenstein. I think we left off last where we had to quarter off and we were in the prefit stages. Well, as you can see, we finally got the old girl back together on this side. Everything's on, it's all welded. I even put the holes in this side for the trim that goes inside the cove. But overall, came out a lot better than the other side, mainly because the other side had so much more damage. But the gap looks good. That's about as good as you're gonna get for a reproduction. Very little body work will be required to make this right. Got the sail panel back together. Just have a little bit more metal finishing there to do to get that all nice. So we use very little body filler. Had to rebuild the corner here. Still have some grinding to do inside the trunk there. But that whole corner had to be rebuilt. It was nothing but lead and bondo and bracing and I don't know, chewing gum, you name it. It was all in there. But I'm happy. We're moving along. We're almost done with all the welding on this car. If you remember in the last video or one of the last videos I had mentioned how I was going to have to metal finish this, weld it out because the gap was way off. As you can see, we've achieved that. That gap is very nice now. Very little body filler will be required on there. Gonna need some in here, running up and down, but that's just the nature of how the panel was stamped. Again, but very minimal body filler required. And that's what you wanna do when you do this type of stuff. I've had a lot of cars in here where the body filler is an inch thick. Uh, that's not doing anybody any good and it's just going to crack and fall off. You can see I got a little bit of work to do here. I got my markings for what to do. We're a little tight there where it says relieve the corner and I think we're a little tight there too so maybe a little bit of hammer and dolly work and we'll be able to get those areas just like the other side. Moving forward I still got a little bit of welding to do here. We're going to end up welding this area mainly because of how they compromise this panel. It's still a solid panel, but I'd rather just weld this and then I'll come back through here and I'll cut a line in my weld so that it's a better joint. A little bit of extra work to do on this piece, nothing major. Moving forward, this is all ready to go. If you remember in the last video I had mentioned how in this area here, the, this panel was stamped three-eighths of an inch longer, or this, this section was three-eighths of an inch farther back. It actually ended right here. And I ended up coming here and welding all this shut all the way around here, so now it matches the other side. Again, very little metal finishing to go. And I left this open just to kind of show you guys what I was talking about, what you sometimes have to do on these panels. I know I really haven't shown the panels cut away, but you can see here, if you remember, I had mentioned how this gap, this panel here was laid over like this. And you can see here, all I did was slice it and move this over. And look at the difference. That's how much this panel was off when they stamped it. So that's quite a bit. What I'll do, gap looks real good. I'll come in here and I will slowly stitch weld this shut. Completely shut. No sense in even trying to put a piece of metal in here. It would just burn away anyway. So we'll weld that shut. We'll end up with a nice gap all the way down, just like we have on the other side. Then I think after that, I run around the car, check for any more areas that need to be welded. And then we move on to bodywork and paint. <clears throat> Can't remember if I mentioned before, but due to budget constraints, because this car mushroomed into a monster, we're not going to strip the entire car. The original plan was to strip the entire car to bare metal, but we're not going to do that because whatever I uncover, I have to fix. And I know I'll be uncovering more. And at, this, at that point, the amount of money that would be into this car is beyond comprehension. So we're just gonna sand what's there in green Make it nice and smooth, find any dings and chips, work them out a little bit better. Main body work on the quarters here. Seal the entire car. 
and repaint. <clears throat> Other than that, that's about it. Like I said, things are going well. A lot of hours. Took a lot of hours to get this side done. Definitely not as much as the other side. I still have a tiny bit left to go, but this side didn't have, fortunately for the customer, didn't have as much damage behind the panel. Everything behind that sail panel was repaired, sealed, treated, trying to keep rust at bay as best we can. I think he's gonna be happy with it. Like always, like, subscribe, questions. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go around to this side. You guys have seen that gap now. So I'm gonna repair that gap. We'll cut away from the video here. And then when we come back, I'll show you what that area looks like. All welded up and ground smooth. See you in a bit, guys.